welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new today's video is going to be me sharing 22 lessons that 22 has taught me so i'm going to get right into it i'm going to share the lesson and i'll talk a little bit about it but i hope that from these lessons that i share with you guys that you will it will help better your life as some people that i watch on youtube and things that i went through have helped me so 22nd year of my life was a great one i learned so much did so much everything that i learned in my 22nd year of life is something that i'm taking with me to 23 to become better because 23 is your jordan year as they say the best year of your life and for real for real i feel like it's my i feel like it's the start of the best years of my life so i'm excited about 23 i'm not going in 23 the same i'm not doing it so i'm taking all my lessons from 22 and yeah it's gonna be one of the best years the start of the best years 23 is just 23 is gonna be really good and i cannot wait so i'm excited let's get into it lesson number one. First lesson that i learned is that i can handle so much First thing that comes to mind when I wrote that down was because I took eight classes my senior year. Like, you might think that's like, ooh, that's little, or you might have took more than me, but eight classes was seriously a lot in your senior year. So on top of eight classes, you're dealing with graduation, just everything else in life. So that was a lot. That was a lot, and I was planning a wedding for my friend back home. So planning a wedding, eight classes, running the businesses, going through school, going through graduation, hanging out with friends, having a personal life, you know, cooking, eating, trying to survive. All those things, they add up. And it's just like you got so much on your plate, but it all worked out, made it through, I graduated. So like that right there, when I think about all the tasks that I have to do or that I keep putting on my plate, I just be like, I took eight classes, eight classes. And then that right there alone, that quote right there, I took eight classes is my motivation to get through it. Cause it's like eight classes, eight different things, eight assignments and projects that you gotta keep up with. And I'm proud of that and I'm happy that I did push myself to take eight classes because it showed me how much that I can handle. And now I can take that into real life when I have so much on my plate or when I feel like I have so much on my plate, I just remind myself, give myself the motivation of you took eight classes. Second lesson I learned was to be selfish. I'm the nicest, most giving person you know. If you ask me for help, I'm going to help you. But I've learned that I need to realize when it's not, it's becoming not helpful to me. So, and like, it's okay to sometimes say no. I don't like saying no. I like to do, do, do. So I'm still working on that. You know, I just got to realize and balance my time of putting myself first, making sure I'm good and out the way and then help people the way I want to help them just a little bit more not like fully completely because I'm always gonna help people like I just can't help it so but I also need to realize to not forget to help myself third thing don't make assumptions I'm the worst at this ask my friends I will assume the littlest things like I'll assume I'll make up a whole like response of what's gonna happen to a text like I'll text them I'll text somebody then I'll come up with the response and then that makes me not want to send the text anymore because of the response that I came up with in my head is that good that is not good I don't want to take that into 23 me because I really be making up the craziest stuff in my head and it don't even be like that like when you make an assumption you cause yourself to worry and you give yourself unnecessary stress because it's an assumption it's not true it didn't happen like you made it up in your head and I always do this I always make up scenarios in my head so that's one thing I'm trying to stop fourth thing things only work with consistency and you have to have passion talking to my friend Judah and we were just talking about how like people get so much done and they go so much farther when they have consistency even if they don't have talent so he was I was saying like yeah you can if you're consistent you'll get whatever it is you want done like and then you'll just you can be successful like happen like you're doing something repeatedly like some kind of 
some kind of uh, response is going to happen from whatever you're doing. And he was saying like, yeah, also it's important to have the passion for it because since you have the passion for it, that makes it easier to be consistent because you love it. So those two combined, you'll be set. There's so many people out there where you might think like, this is a mess, like, how, how, how? It's because they put it out there. You're looking at it, you're seeing it, consistency. They are getting their work out. It might not be the best to your likings, but it's out there and then people are seeing it. They're not seeing yours, so, boom. Fifth thing is to talk things out with others. I'm very guilty of keeping things in my head and I don't talk them out with other people but it's like once you talk it out with somebody it becomes easier even if they don't give you good input just the fact that you said it out loud said an idea out loud it starts to like bring other it brings clarity to whatever is going on because you just said it out loud like it just helps so much and I am very guilty of keeping things inside my head until I like do it and then so like I'm in my head struggling when I can just say it out loud and get somebody's input and then they'll help me or they won't help me or I'll help myself just by asking and realizing in that moment of asking something that I needed to know. Number six is like one of the biggest revelations I've had recently like real recent because I was watching Alyssa forever I will insert the clip self all of the time and being creative and being happy and putting that out to the world because that's the energy I want to see around me so I'm going to be the energy that I want to see leading by example exactly just this part of the segment that really just spoke to me because it like helped me realize why I was feeling a way towards certain people because the energy you put out is the energy you get so I was getting angry at people for like they want my help they don't take it they don't do nothing with it they not getting their stuff done they not working towards whatever they talking this they talking that and then they not doing nothing after watching Alyssa it was like I've came to the realization that I am that energy. I want people to show me or give me this like hard work and hustle and energy and I'm not doing anything. So like I'm not matching the energy that I'm expecting from others. So once I increase my energy, they'll see me and then if they want my help, they'll know. They'll know what type of time to come to me with, how to approach me, like they'll know what energy I'm on and they'll bring they'll bring that energy with them whenever they're around me. So then we just keep this energy going and we're good. So the energy you give out is the energy you receive. So I'm changing my energy for 23. The seventh lesson is to do things that add value to your life. So for example, when I did my vlogs, I made sure that I added in lesson of the vlog and then I added like what the lesson of the vlog was or I would share a quote, like anything to better whoever is watching whatever I'm doing I just wanted to add value to people in a way like in any way I could I just even in real life like make sure you just add in value to people's lives like help others you add value to them they add value to you we all add value and the price goes up so next lesson number eight is to enjoy the things that you have so I am also guilty of feeling like I need more feeling like I need more and my mom always say in her meditation, you have everything you need to succeed. We have everything we need to succeed. Use what you got and make the best of it. I am, like, I love to say I'm a queen of making lemonade out of lemons because, like, give me something, I'll make it pop. And, like, give me some rusty, dusty footage and I'll make you a film. Like, I have gotten really good at that. So, like, I need to appreciate all the like things that I have including like I really want a vlog camera but what I had to do make space on my phone get over the fact that I don't have a vlog camera and just use my phone like it could be worse like I wouldn't have a phone or I wouldn't have a camera like I maybe not have computers like I have I'm highly blessed to have all those things and I just have to enjoy them and appreciate them and stop wanting more all the time. 
And enjoy the things you have also goes for non-material items. Like enjoy your life, enjoy the people, enjoy everything that comes along with it. Like things could be worse. And if things are worse, they're gonna get better. So just whatever you're going through, take it as a lesson and find the good in it and enjoy it. So the ninth lesson on my list is actually you have everything you need and and yeah so like i said you have everything you need to succeed i'm pretty sure like just go through all the things you want and then on the other side write down what you have that can be used in place for it and then you'll see like you really do have everything you need and you'll be good and then once you use the things that you have like then you can reward yourself with whatever you want but don't get so down on yourself that you don't have anything or you don't have you can't do this you can't do that because you don't have it but really think hard think about it and you probably got it my 10th lesson is to appreciate where you are in life um we often get like so caught up looking at other people's lives but we have to appreciate where we are at and think about the other aspects or like the other things of your life that may have happened or why you are where you're at like think take all that into consideration and then just think like you're i'm sure you're doing well and i'm sure you're doing good for your life circumstances like i'm sure you're just fine and you're just only getting better like we're young if you're my age 22 life is just starting like appreciate where you at because i'm sure you're good and that goes on to my 11th lesson which is we're young and we still have time if you're watching this again and you're 22 like we are we are growing we're doing good and if you're not doing anything you're doing good too like there's no time limit on anything life has no formula if you want to do nothing until you're 25 and then at 25 you make the decision to change and then you actually change your life like who am i to say that you were wrong you change your life at 25 and some other people just want to take the steps now and do it gradually or slower some people just want to get straight to it like life is different for everybody you're still young we are still growing we are still going we are still flowing don't let anybody tell you you're wrong don't let no don't let nobody tell you what you should be doing at this age none of it you're good you're young and you're doing good and you still have time to do even more 12th lesson which is no there's no rush slow growth is still growth so we often want things to happen overnight but they don't so as long as we're working towards them and we're growing we're growing like growth is growth so be happy for the growth and the progress that you made just because you have been going slow doesn't mean you have to stay slow just because you've been going fast doesn't mean you have to stay fast you can do what you want go fast go slow increase slow down go back go over go mm, mm, mm. you can do whatever you want again you can, i feel like the biggest lesson of this is you can do whatever you want so like I really, 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 really wanted to stay on track with counting. So I'm I think this is my 15th. I think this is my 15th lesson. This is my 15th lesson according to the list. I don't know what I've been telling y'all, but but lesson number 15. Write down your goals and keep them in front of you at all times. Like write them down somewhere you can see them somewhere you'll be reminded because if you're not reminded you'll forget and then you won't do it so write down your goals write down short term long term and write down um what you can do to achieve them and i like to write on my calendar like what days i need to do each step so i can get it done like as long as i write it out plan it out and do each step then the goal will get completed i like to do goals for a week goals for the day goals for the month and so on so write down your goals and keep looking at them because that's the only way you're going to get it done is if you keep looking at it because if you don't you're going to forget lesson number 16 is to be clear 
this is a lesson that I learned that I need to be clear. Be clear on whatever I want, whatever I expect, however I feel, and so on. Like it's important to be clear because if you don't, then people will assume. And then when people assume you're upset, you may be upset by the outcome of how you were treated or something because you weren't clear about what you wanted or what you expected. So when you're not clear, things just go left and then everyone's just confused. So I don't want to be confusing anybody anymore. I want to speak up, say what I got to say, be clear let it be known and we're all good like communication is key I tell my friend like something fall through I be like it could have been prevented if we just had better communication so let's work on our communication and we're gonna be clear on what 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 is what when is this done when is this due when you're busy when I'm free when you know like I just want to be clear with everybody in my life about everything so being clear. Lesson number 16. Lesson number 17 is there is no right or wrong answer. This is the biggest fact of life. There is no right or wrong answer. Like, and I feel like that's what can cause a lot of. I feel like that's what be making me like nervous at times. Like, especially when it comes to presenting or something or like whatever. It's like you feel like you gotta do it right or it's a problem but like what is the right way like if you got the information like when it comes to presenting or something if you have the information the people in the audience are there to learn it and so therefore they probably don't know so they're not in their heads thinking like she don't know nothing that's all wrong that's all wrong they're probably thinking nothing they probably don't really care or etc so it's just like whatever you do just do it if it's not if it's not accurate if it could be more accurate then somebody will just check you or something like that or when it comes to making life decisions right or wrong there's no right or wrong you do what is best for you like if your heart is telling you to go there then go there because you just gotta go with your gut feeling sometimes like you just gotta listen to yourself because nobody else can tell you what to do so just listen to yourself get advice from others but remember there's no right or wrong answer so whatever this person tell you whatever this person tell you there are two things that they told you and you decide what you want which one is right to you my 19th lesson is whenever you don't feel like doing something just do it this came from me not wanting to go to the gym and just being like i don't want to go i don't feel like going but of course i'm still going to go because my mom going and this is our routine so we go to the gym every like four times a week four times a week we go to the gym and i can't just stay home so i gotta go so but one day i just was like i don't feel like in my head i was like i don't feel like going but i got there and it was like the best workout best feeling felt great afterwards so it was like that gym moment that's something i didn't want to do really change the outcome of the rest of my day so you never know the things that you don't want to do just may change the outcome of the rest of your day the rest of your hour the rest of your life the rest of your years it just can change you for the better so just do it like what what can it hurt lesson number 19 is to push yourself and when you're pushing yourself remember the things that you used to couldn't do so with that, I always think about like Photoshop and um, Illustrator. Photoshop and Illustrator used to stress me out so bad. Like I was so stressed by those two things. Like I would be clicking, clicking, clicking Photoshop. Like I don't know how to use this. I'm done. I'm going to PicMonkey. And PicMonkey is like you can make some good stuff on there, but if you really try and be a professional graphic designer, you cannot rely on pick monkey if you're doing logos you have to know how to create a vector and a vector file is a file that can be sized to any size so that'll save you trouble in the long run you don't want people coming back to you like can you make this bigger can you make this bigger like just give them a vectored logo so i had to learn how to use illustrator now illustrator and photoshop have become like like pick monkey how easy that is 
how easy that has become how easy that was like photoshop and illustrator have become easy like that and i continue to learn more and more and it just becomes like more easier i always think about that when i think about how i'm trying to learn something new that eventually I'll, like i'll overcome it and i'll know how to do it you just gotta keep pushing so i always think about that i always come back to the those two things and how they really used to stress me out i taught myself i practiced and then boom i know how to use them so I'm pushing myself, I'm teaching myself, and then boom, I don't know how to do it. Lesson number 21 is fake it to make it. And I don't mean be phony, I don't mean be like fake, like in a meet like in a terrible way to people or anything. I mean like fake it so you make it with certain things. Like like you might not know how to do something, but you just gotta you just gotta do the motions and you'll get better at whatever it is and you will become whatever it is that you want so i'm faking it with this youtube thing like i'm not the average already boom youtuber naturally but i'm faking it so i'm making it i'm keep going i'm keep posting I'm keep getting better hopefully for you guys and yes yeah, soon i'll be the youtuber that i want to be right now i'm just doing it i'm just faking it until i make it so i'm gonna keep going i'm gonna keep posting i'm gonna keep hope i'm gonna keep getting better at it and then i will be that youtuber that i want to be lesson number 22 is very important and that is to continue to do you even if other people are doing you like do be yourself if people are copying you or whatever like that's only showing that you are doing something right like if you feel like you did something the next person might come along and do the same thing well you did it first and maybe they didn't see that you did it first and maybe they did it on their own time but even still it's just like you knew something was about to be something so you did it and then it became something even if somebody else even if somebody else made that something big still you were ahead of your time you did it you were, then you'll look at that trend or whatever and you'll be like been there done that not doing it again you'll think of the next ahead way ahead trend and then it's all good like you don't have to follow the crowd be yourself it's the best way to live because nobody does you better than you so stay true to yourself that's the most important lesson of life stay true to yourself I'm going into my 23rd year and I just want to keep reminding myself that life is a journey and that we create our own paths, we do our own things and it's fine. Like be yourself, stay true to yourself. 23, I'm taking all my lessons with me to become the person that I want to see in my best years of my life. And I'm very excited for 23. Like I really, really can't wait. I refuse to bring this 22 year old with me the current state of the 22 year old with me without applying all the lessons that I've learned in my 22nd year of life. I'm excited. Um, comment down below some life lessons that you learned this year. I would love to hear and I can add them to my list. I'm trying to get 22 likes on this video. I want to speak that into existence. 22 likes, 22 likes, 22 likes. 22 likes <laughs> so yes that's it for this video if you made it to the end of this video like your level of loyalty is like on a different level so i just want to thank you so much for watching the whole video like i really appreciate it you are super loyal please leave a comment down below if you made it to the end and I will shout you out on my next video for sure because you are loyal. If you made it to the end of this video and you're not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to this channel. Please join the fam. Please join the team. Please join the squad. We love you. I love you for sure. And I'm out of here. Deuces.